Right then, since signing Amrabat, we have not had the best news um, with his injury. However, we have so much to look forward to as United fans when you think about the quality that this player in particular is going to give to us. Now, his debut is, of course, as it would with any Manchester United player, uh, going to attract a lot of attention, a lot of expectation. And I, I think there's a few things that are absolute standouts that Amrabat is going to bring and provide and display in that opening game for us. So, as is tradition, here's five things um, I think you can expect from Sophie and Amrabat's debut. Number one, stability. Now, Amrabat is joining a football club that is doing its damnedest to be in an absolute crisis at all times. Uh, anytime someone goes, let's calm things down a little bit, someone else at the club goes, mm, don't think so, check this out. So, luckily, Amrabat is going to deliver a little bit of stability. Now, his injury could not have come at a worse time, um, but I think his expected debut will bring in a lot of very much needed stability, certainly, on the pitch for multiple reasons. Uh, firstly, he is a solid, solid midfielder. Um, one that will help us be able to take control of a game both with the ball and without the ball. More importantly, his debut is going to bring some overall club stability. When you consider that his debut is checking off one of the major issues uh, surrounding the club at the moment, who partners Casemiro being one of them, and uh, this fellow that we just bought is injured. Um, he answers both of those questions by taking to the field. He's hopefully going to take charge of the game, um, whatever game it is that he's in. Um, and that is what he is about. He's about getting on the ball, calming things down. He is a tempo setter with and without the ball. And that is a big, big plus for United. Number two, tenacity. Now, we've said this thousands of times, but he is extremely tenacious on the pitch. That clip that's doing the rounds of him refusing to give up on Mbappe. Of all the people that you could want to be chasing down, Mbappe is not the top of anybody's list that you think, yeah, go on and let me have a run at him. Um, but he's got that in him, inherently. That never going to give up, that always constantly trying to work uh he is aggressive he is quite cold he is quite calculated and he's someone that's not going to stop at anything to um win the ball back to to win possession and do the best that he can for his team i absolutely expect that amrabat is going to use that energy to um step in demand more from our from his teammates demand more from our players and really really put his stamp on to Manchester United, certainly in midfield. His debut should show us something that we have been missing um, since losing Fred. But he will deliver more than just what Fred did because he's also got the technical quality on it. Fred was a, you know, a quite valued member of the squad because of the tenacity. Now you add the tenacity and the quality and you've got a real player. And that is why we signed Amrabat. Number three, we sort of alluded to it in the you know, the last two points, really, anyway. But when you sign Amrabat, you sign character. And I love that quote from him. Um, I, I don't really want to do much th in this interview. I'd rather do my talking out on the pitch. Roy Keane stood up and applauded that. I don't know if he did, but, you know, figuratively. Um, he is going to raise the standards at Manchester United in terms of what he expects and what he demands. We are a club that has got a ton of uncertainty around it at the moment, but I really believe that Amrabat is one of the players with the character to step in and get the ship steadied and going in the right direction. Midfield is such an important part of the pitch. When you get it right in midfield, everything else seems to just fall into place. Amrabat's been quoted as being a warrior for his work rate at Morocco, uh, and you do not see just any old player getting called that. His debut, he's going to need it because of the opposition that we've got, but you're going to need that warrior spirit on the pitch. That destroyer against Brighton is going to be absolutely what is needed. Number four quality in possession now if you've watched any of the previous analysis that we've done on Amrabat that is who he is the guy that we saw at the World Cup that's one string to his bow 
Um, he was asked to do a specific job for half a dozen or so games. He executed fantastically and really brought himself um, into the public consciousness with those performances. But that is not who he is as a player. He is an absolute progressor and tempo setter of the ball. That's what he's here to do. Um, you know, I mentioned that he's replacing Fred in the squad, but that's not just who he is. Not this tenacious ball winner. Like that's not his game. His game is the guy that gets on the ball and moves him forward. He's in the 99th percentile for all sorts of stuff when it comes to passing. This is what you're getting. You are getting an in possession monster. In possession monster that's going to dictate play. Going to move United's possession as well, by the way, about 25 yards further forward. But an in possession monster. You combine that with the quality and tenacity. Um, and again, we're going to be so much better on the ball just with him coming into the team. You allow Casemiro to just do Casemiro things. You you take the workload defensively half off Casemiro as well. And suddenly Casemiro is going to look like his old self again. It's, it's a great signing for us. That's really going to have a big impact on the rest of the team. Everybody around, like Bruno's going to be getting the ball much earlier in much better positions. The forwards will be getting the ball much earlier in much better positions. He makes us defensively better. He makes us offensively better. It's a fucking great signing. And number five, uh, just trying to temper expectations because even though I think that he is a fantastic signing, um, much like we saw with Casemiro, much like we've seen with a lot of the players that have come to United, it could be a slow start. Um, obviously, he has played with Ten Hag before, but Ten Hag's tactics will have evolved. He's going to have to get used to his teammates. To have um, the level, the high level of passing that you've got like that, it's very difficult to come into a brand new squad and just start dictating play. Because some of the things that you have to do to dictate play is you have to know when teammates are going to move. You have to know the body shape that they make when they're making a decrease run you have to know what they look like when they're actually wanting the ball and you have to do all of that while everybody else is moving around you at 100 mile an hour and that just takes a little bit of repetition to know that so when marcus does this little into out run he's trying to make space for other guy when he does this into out run he wants the ball there's those little nuances require conversation they require training uh they require mistakes to be made so you can't just expect this will happen and it'll be fine it isn't as easy as that. So he is, a, he is a player that could hit the ground running in certain aspects of it. Obviously, the defensive side of the game, that's the sort of thing that I am expecting to be there straight away. But the really, really high-level quality uh, of him dictating play and setting the tempo, that's just going to take a little bit of time to get into it a little bit. Um, and unfortunately for us, the pressure is on. Brighton and Bayern Munich in the next few weeks are massive. And even Brentford is a problem game for us because you're expected to win that. And they're actually doing really well at the moment. And the pressure will be completely off them uh, to play Manchester United. So I don't want to see anyone throwing the toys out if he doesn't come in and get a 10 out of 10 in his first game, certainly with the ball. Uh, I, I do expect him and every Manchester United player, anytime they pull the shirt on, to be good defensively and work hard. But I think sometimes the quality can take a little bit of time as they get used to everybody else's movements around them. Oh, actually, that's where he likes to go when he gets the ball. Okay, no worries. It can take a minute. Um, so overall, I am extremely excited about what Amrabat is going to bring to the club. His debut hopefully sets the foundation and precedent for what we're going to see from him for the remainder of his Manchester United career. I think he'll be a, a real first-choice player for us, whether that's from through leadership, through quality, through both. Um, and I think it's very safe ground to predict that this player is going to be a success for United. Um, I just can't wait to see him get started. I so hope it's this week against Brighton because, boy, do we need it. Like, looking at you know, the possibility of Casemiro and Eriksen, well, we saw that against Brighton and we know that they've got the potential of getting absolutely run over by the work rate of Brighton. Let's bring Amrabat in and even up the score a little bit. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.